Hi, so a little while ago, I was approached by an NFL agent, a Hollywood agent, and their third party attorneys, and they wanted to build an esports agency, a full service deal for the players involved. And with the way that esports has been growing right now, I just couldn't say no, so I jumped right on board. What's being built is an agency for professional esports, APE for short. And the whole goal of APE is to provide services to the clients that range from contract negotiations, individual sponsorships, branding, and post-career management. As somebody that has been in esports for a while and has seen some of its growth, with the addition of traditional sports teams coming into the scene, they're going to want to expect a certain level of transparency and practices that come from their background because, after all, a big part of esports has been mimicking those traditional sports as we see in the approaches towards leagues and localization of leagues. And that's where the next step comes in that player representation because you're going to need somebody to mediate the connections between teams, organizations, sponsorships, and everything in between. Now, with no further ado, let's introduce the team. Myself, I've been playing league professionally for six years now, and I spent a big part of that time building connections and making sure that I built myself in a position where I could transition after playing into doing something else. And what I've been doing in that time is broadcasting, doing analysis, casting, and now doing this player agency. I think that what I bring to the table is just that that player approach. I've been a player myself, so I can see where somebody might be coming from in terms of what they are currently feeling in terms of their career, where they want to go in the future, or just regular advice that is only really capable of being acquired by somebody that has been through those same steps before. Then we have Jason Moore. He's a former president of Paris Hilton Entertainment. He has over a decade of experience in terms of management, service contracts, sponsorships, brand development in a massive multi-million dollar industry. And I think that he offers a lot in terms of making sure that these players are growing themselves properly, right? That's his area of expertise in just having somebody and growing them to what can be. And it's not a secret that right now, even esports athletes are practically celebrities. You go all over the world and you're going to get recognized. And what can we do to make sure that that is being built as effectively as possible to have a more lucrative and long lasting career? Then we have Matthew Pope. He is an NFL agent, one out of five of the youngest agents right now under 30 years old. I mean, he has first round draft picks, experience with all these contracts. He has overseen all the day-to-day -day development for a lot of these team for a lot of these clients careers and i think that what he offers to the table is just that traditional approach towards agency that a lot of these organizations and eventually developers are going to expect out of these teams and players and that's where he comes in as a guy that knows exactly how to manage these situations he has his expertise in it in the current scene, which will translate effectively into esports. Now let's talk about the services that Ape will provide. These are anything from contract negotiations, free agency, handling buyouts, marketing, media training, financial planning. I know a lot of players have difficulty with their taxes. That's something that we can handle, as well as the post-career management. And again, what we wanna do is take away as many of the responsibilities from the player as possible so that they have more free time to either improve or use that to pursue any hobbies or interests that they might have that they are unable to pursue because of the esports life. I mean, a lot of players happen to retire at an early age or just have difficulty enjoying the scene because of how intense it may be, just playing all the time and never really having a chance to pursue either a social life or any other interests that may have outside of it. And that's what we want to help. We want to make sure that these guys aren't retiring at 21 or younger. We want them to have a career as long as they want to. We want them to have a spot in esports for playing in it for whatever they may want to do. And that's where the post career management or placement comes in. One thing that we also want to tackle is specialized contracts. Right now, the only thing that separates players is really just the amount of money that they're making, when in reality, everybody offers something different to the table. And we want to make sure that that is highlighted in these contracts, be it the player needs a certain kind of food, they need this routine, they need blackout curtains, whatever they may need 
for them to play at their best is what we want to negotiate for them and therefore acquire it for them. And speaking of things that we want them to do while playing at their best, we want players to be able to be motivated to win at their best and receive rewards for it. And that's when incentive-based compensation comes in. That's something that comes from a sports background, right? You get extra bonuses if you score certain touchdowns, your baskets, yards, whatever it may be. That's something that happens in traditional sports and that will come in into esports. And we want to be the forefront of that. We want to make sure that these guys are winning at their best and being rewarded for it. So KDAs, player of the game, MVP of the split, advancing in the tournament, you know, first round of playoffs, second round, you made it to the finals, you got MVP in finals, that kind of approach. It's something that I think is quite worthwhile. And while there might be a level of skepticism around it in the sense that a lot of these things, maybe a KDA might not be such a hot one because some players might feel the need to play more conservatively and maybe not as optimally for the team in order to increase their KDA and maybe make an extra buck. That's something that we want to take the precaution for and make sure that winning is, of course, the priority and that the team is not being brought down. I'd like to reiterate that this really is the future of esports, and we can see that today with other agencies being launched, such as Catalyst, which contains similar high profile individuals, such as the ones here on Ape. I'm telling you that because we want to make sure that we're as transparent as possible with our clients and everybody involved. Throughout the years, esports has seen a lot of shadiness and malpractice that has done nothing but stunt the growth of the scene. Hopefully, by spearheading this movement of transparency within the new branch of esports, we can create a healthier and more lucrative environment for everybody involved. And I know it seems like a far-fetched idea that agency is something that is necessary. Players have been taking care of themselves for a long time now. They've handled their own deals. They've handled everything. But traditional athletes, the big stars, the guys that get on the better teams, the guys that get the better deals that are being in these incredibly long lasting and successful careers, they have agents handle their deals. They have agents make sure that they're taken care of, that all their needs are basically done so that all they have to do, show up to the game and perform. That's happened then and it's going to happen now. It's the future of esports and we really just want to be a part of it.